All right, hey, what's up everybody? My name is Cam. Today we're gonna to be talking about how to do bunker missions. Bunker missions are a fun FPS or first person shooter experience in the universe of Star Citizen. And I'm gonna to talk to you about how to do them successfully. One of the first things that you are going to need is armor. Um, as you can see here, my character um, has the ADP armor. Um, this is 40% armor, 40% armor being the highest level of armor that you can get. Um, a friend of mine likes to say that it's level three armor because we do play PUBG sometimes. Um, so this would be level three armor. Um, but yeah, 40%, um, like I said, is the highest as, as of right now. Anyway, the thing that you will need is a gun. Um, you need to be able to shoot people, of course. So as you can see here, I have the bearing P4AR rifle. And if you press J, um, you can actually customize it. If you have attachments, I don't have any attachments to add to it, but you can actually um, add scopes. There is many different types of scopes in the game as, uh, as well as barrel attachments and under barrel attachments like flashlights or laser pointers and stuff like that. The P4AR is one of the more common guns that you'll come across in the bunker missions because that's what some of the nine tails carry and so you'll actually be able to get a lot of ammunition off the ground off of your enemies so this is a good gun to go with all right and of course if we go ahead and uh go back to my third person view we can see that i also have a bunch of armor uh i sh i have a bunch of ammunition for that gun um i've it's all around my person. Actually, let me go and go into inventory view. So here you can see the P4 AR magazines. And when I'm actually using the gun, you can see here on the bottom right corner, uh, just where the back of the gun is, the total amount of ammunition I have. 25 in the magazine, 240 rounds uh, in total all over me. So that way I don't have to worry about running out of ammunition. Now, the gun does have different firing modes. If you press B like Bravo, uh, you go from infinite fire like that to double fire to single fire. Um, sometimes I like to do single fire, especially if I have time to aim at the heads of my enemies. <laughs> Um, you know, some of them, if they don't have any armor at all, like some of the nine tails do, they only take one shot to take down. And also for reloading the gun, we want to just press R. All right. Now, how do we actually find these missions? Well, that's easy. You're going to just press F1 to get to pull up your Moby glass. All right. So we got the Moby glass open. Um, here we want to go to the contracts manager at the bottom. And we have all these different categories on the left-hand side. We want to go to mercenary, okay? And then here we have a, uh, a security contractor evaluation, and we have a defend occupant, okay? So a security contractor evaluation, once you do that, it pays 15000 but once you do it, um, you'll get more jobs uh, available to you. And each planetary system, like Microtech, Hurston, um, Crusader, they all have their own rep level because they all have their own security forces. The more you do in each planetary system, the higher paying they will get. So I'm going to go ahead and choose this one, the security contractor evaluation. Also make sure to accept the call to arms mission. The call to arms mission gives you an extra bonus per bad person that you eliminate. And as we can see, the security contractor evaluation is now there. It is now telling me to go to security center DDV-6. So we're going to hit track on that if it didn't track already. And you'll see a marker on your heads up display. That's where we need to go. So let's go ahead and go there. Something else that I forgot to mention that you should have with you when you're going on any sort of mission or basically to do anything in this game you should have a way of healing yourself. Um, now, for me, I like to get those uh, uh, the red med pens. Those are really good to have. You can get those pretty much anywhere in the game. Um, specifically, 
all the medical centers will have them. Uh, you can they have a little pharmacy area that you can purchase those from. Uh, some ships come with them, uh, specifically the C8R, the Rescue Pisces. Um, it has some built in already. And uh, but these missions themselves, if you don't have any with you at the moment, these missions will have medical boxes where you can loot medical items and having a uh, med gun is also good as well you'll notice on the heads up display at the top it says hostiles remaining 10 out of 10 so that means there are hostiles and there are friendlies and if you shoot the friendlies you will get a crime stat and that's definitely not a good thing um, if you get a crime stat they will turn on you also if there are turrets at the bunker the turrets will start shooting your ship and it will blow up for sure the good thing is is that the friendlies will be marked with a little triangle above their head so you don't mistake them for the enemy however the game has been known to kind of bug sometimes where the triangles are not there so you still have to be very careful all right so we have arrived at the security bunker and here we can see that there is one turret on top and it shows up as that blue icon that oh there's actually more so they just showed up on the radar so yeah these turrets they will fire on you if you're not supposed to be there but i have a contract to be here so it's okay there are there are other bunker missions like the uh, destroy illegal drugs where they are completely controlled by the nine tails gang and the bunkers will shoot the turrets will shoot at you in which case it is a good idea to have a vehicle where you can park far away with your ship and then drive your vehicle to the bunker if you don't want to have to run as of right now there are no hostiles on the outside of the bunker you don't have to worry about shooting anybody cig has stated in the past that they plan on having defenses on the outside if a uh, security post has been overrun and that would be a really cool addition but right now there is no danger just go ahead and take the elevator to sub level one which is the only level you can go to at this point and take the elevator all the way down be careful there is no wall here you can fall off and and those triangles on the screen those are the uh, those are the friendlies that I was talking about. Okay, so they are currently below us, and we can already hear some shooting going on. Oh, got a hostile right there. Okay, he's down. He didn't have any armor, so he was easy to take down. Oh, got two more right here. Okay. Got two more. Okay, they're down. And you notice that I'm, I, I keep getting awarded money every time I kill one of them. That's that call to arms mission that I was talking about. So that's nice to have. Yep, got another one. Okay, he's down. He's acting like he's injured, but he's actually, he's dying. Careful not to shoot. See, I shot him in the butt, and, he, and he's reacting as such. So there's two enemies left. I'm looking for them now. Let's see if there's one over here. And be on the lookout for loot boxes. These missions have loot boxes a lot of the times. But you don't want to go start rifling through loot boxes while there's enemies alive. See, there's a loot box right there. It's red. There's another loot box right here. Nice. 
Where are the bad guys? Oh, there's one. Okay, one left. He's over here. Yep, there he is. Now, he took a lot more hits to take down because he's wearing uh, the 40% armor, just like me. But he's down. So now that the mission is done, it says objective complete. Uh, now you can go ahead and start looting um, all these people um, and everything like that. Just hold F on the body and hit and scroll down to loot and uh yeah you can take the uh the med pens if you right click on the armor you can hit open and they'll have stuff inside their armor uh only the chest pieces and the legs are actually uh can be opened and then you can also drag stuff over to your inventory like that. This is a good way to get uh, ammunition or, you know, carryables. Here's one of those medical boxes that I was talking about. And they have a, a variety of medical items like the med pens. Those are good to have. I'm going to go and take one of those and one of the refills. All right. If you double click, uh, you notice I'm double clicking. It, it gets attached to your, to your body. See, there's the med pen. And then that refill... Well, it's somewhere on me. And uh, these little gifts, these are Luminalia gifts. This is just uh, because it's the holiday season for this patch still. So um, those can be sold for 500 each. However, that's going to be going away here pretty soon. But yeah, these red boxes, these are awesome loot boxes that carry guns usually and armor pieces. Um, here we've got some 20% armor. Uh, 30% armor. Ooh, this is a 40% helmet. What's cool about these uh, items, especially the 30% and 40% items, is if you have the backpack space, you can take these with you and sell them, um, and you can get an extra cash. Uh, but yeah, you can other other accessories um, such as holographic sights. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, drag that over to my gun, and now I have a holographic sight. And there's other guns. There's a salvo frag pistol. I'm going to go ahead and take that along with the magazines for it. And, uh, yeah. Oh, I just did something by accident that I forgot to talk about as well. If you want to lean, you, um, you press Q and E. I have mine set to where I tap it. It stays that way. By default, it'll automatically uh, write you back again once you let go. So you have to hold it down, but you can set it in your settings uh, under the control, under the uh, keyboard customization that you you can just tap it and, it and it stays that way. So you can lean around corners and peek, essentially. Also, something else I didn't talk about is your movement speed. Um, the faster you move, uh, the more noise you make and the, and the better the enemies will hear you. So you can use the scroll wheel to walk very slowly or you can scroll up to walk quickly or hold shift to actually run. So, you know, that does help you in the future uh, for bunker missions, especially when it's only enemies. If you don't want to be heard, then you can just walk, essentially. Okay. All right, let's see here. So I've got a salvo frag pistol. I'm going to take that ammunition. Uh, got a sniper rifle. Yeah, there's there's all sorts of stuff that you can uh, loot in these in these bunkers. But yeah, that is basically how you do a bunker mission. Um, they are uh, generally not too difficult to do. The, the more difficult ones, they come in waves where there will be waves of, you know, like five and five and then like eight or something like that they you know they give you a little bit of time in between waves to recuperate um heal yourself do some looting but yeah that is generally how you do a bunker mission i do hope that you enjoyed this quick tutorial and um yeah you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and stay safe out there citizens